I thought I would try out this uh, new concept uh, with this audience. This is the first time I'm uh, uh, trying to articulate concern of a uh, uh, mind that is, there is a acute or urgent need for establishing guidelines on ethics of uh, those who practice in the forensic sciences. I, I think it's a zero act that I have already clearly mentioned. There are uh, evidence, it's a very important one, interpretation, handling, often a bias or persuaded by uh, external forces and so forth. And uh, we definitely need to develop more standard practice and uh, uh, the pra uh, not only the practice, but uh, as uh, amazing, but it's uh, any time, each time, high profile cases, some of our uh, error or misinterpretation of evidence and uh, handling as well become uh, not only public, but a public start debating. I would like to just touch upon, I have uh, uh, about 10 minutes or so, three areas I will go to mention to you. Uh, current status, as I know, in the United States, perhaps some uh, area uh, of the world. Then, uh, I, well, anytime I mention I think we need the forensic ethics. I, I see a very puzzled face. What is a forensic ethic? And uh, I wonder these uh, uh, lack of uh, interest, not as a bioethic, everybody know. Very much standard has been established last 40 years, but uh, there are, might be some uh, ethics or code of ethics and the different process, professions dealing with the criminal justice, but the uh, public is not aware, and we don't have a, a data for us to uh, compare. Another thing I mentioned, how can we establish forensic uh, ethics? Can, can we find some uh, example? Maybe one that I know, uh, AMA, stands for American Medical Association, Code of Ethics is well established, and uh, that approach may be necessary for us to start developing forensic uh, ethics. And uh, thirdly, who would do that? I think at one or maybe in the role of one or maybe in a, uh, the organization may be able to start uh, compiling uh, information, not only laboratory sciences, but the uh, forensic uh, uh, experts and the profession dealing with the criminal justice. Maybe those are uh, areas that we need to start thinking as one uh, unit. Why people giving me a puzzled face or expression when I mentioned the forensic ethics. Owen Nazman and I were invited to be a visiting scholar in Georgetown, a university in Washington, D.C., and uh, 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 we gave some uh, preliminary talk. It's on the uh, uh, video, but uh, I've been thinking why people are not too interested in. Maybe it's instead of a patient, the subject we deal is a criminal or RSD. And uh, amazingly, people are not too interested in. But those are very vulnerable subjects. And uh, after seeing some of the uh, high publicized profile cases, sometimes surprising we find in the past probably less frequent 
but uh, due to U.S. Uh, being uh, 50 states uh, each uh, 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 agreed to unite to form one country, and uh, uh, founding father George Washington to uh, others wanted to make sure state rights is uh, far more important, and uh, they want to have a weaker uh, federal power. As a result, we call home rule. That is, uh, uh, each community would like to have own police department, uh, and uh, they also, in America, and so it's strange to me a little bit, but uh, uh, each citizen will vote uh, renewal of uh, district judges. That's uh, uh, very unusual, but that's a part of a home law. As a result, uh, uh, the innovation may be very easily done locally, not necessary to have a national government approval, but the uh, problem is uh, when the chief of police changes, the uh, policy may be changed, and furthermore, there is no standards, no uniformity. Uh, collecting data is uh, difficult. And uh, whenever we have this uh, uh, cases, amazing there is issue of bias comes in. Uh, there were, CSI have done good job entertainment and uh, we no longer uh, I need to uh, publicize it because we have a line of applicants who would like to come to work in the medical examiner's office. 50 years ago, we have to uh, uh, look for it and still have the difficulty uh, finding a, a suitable, qualified people. But uh, American Academy of Forensic Sciences now it's a large organization with about 7,000 uh, members, and they have 11 separate uh, uh, sections, including uh, not only science, but jurisprudence, and uh, forensic uh, engineers, and uh, toxicology, criminalistic, and so forth, including uh, uh, the bike mark experts. In the, in the major cases, we now begin to find these uh, forensic uh, uh, evidence or testimony is not absolute. And the in great deal interpretation and some of by bite marks, that is on all soft matrix or soft tissues, and the arms or shoulder uh, or neck and so forth, there will be a great deal of distortion and the interpretation may send someone, innocent man, uh, to jail. Uh, hair and fibers, uh, we think it is uh, uh, very important. Yes, it is important. Interpretation may be wrong. And, uh, and also, uh, not limited to his, uh, these uh, uh, laboratory uh, uh, scientists and even the forensic pathologists, some of the uh, people might uh, uh, emphasize his interpretation more, more lean towards prosecution. Uh, we we uh, call to testify in the court, court has certain legal questions, we try to assess, but uh, they, they, some, some colleague may take a great deal of interest in uh, 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 working towards certain parties. Uh, might be some ethic issues uh, uh, involved, but those are the areas I am interested in. I think uh, AMA uh, 
because uh, one of the pathologists, a medical doctor, so we uh, abide with AMA, code of uh, ethic. That uh, uh, code of ethic is uh, uh, specifically include, uh, we have an ethical uh, uh, requirement to be not only physically fit, but uh, uh, not naturally, it's mentally fit. Uh, that is, uh, um, uh, behavior is also part of the ethic. Uh, and the further, uh, keep up the knowledge and skill current. If he graduates at a medical school after 30, 40 years, if you're not practicing, uh, unless they are, uh, uh, have a certain specialty certification, and the people who work, uh, who will testify in the uh, uh, criminal justice matters or court has to be certified, and the office should be inspected following a standard, and accreditation become a very, very uh, important one. We did the pathologist group, they did this things. Let me tell you, about almost 50 years, 45 years ago, we, uh, there is an organization called National Association of Medical Examiners, uh, so N-A-M-E name, and uh, this uh, uh, organization founded by Sorcery Conscious uh, Forensic Pathologists who wanted to improve the medical legal investigation, death investigation in the United States. Uh, uh, I, I can tell you, of course, as a part of, a, uh, uh, I'm talking about 400 years ago, where the uh, continent established a great deal of uh, colonies. Uh, many of the, those uh, uh, came uh, from uh, uh, England, and the colonists a procedure was adopted, so colonial coroners uh, were appointed. They call hundreds, that means community people, and to identify the person who had died and so forth. But, is that okay time-wise? I'm gonna okay. pull me out, all right. Uh, uh, we were definitely, uh, uh, Improve it. One way is uh, uh, came up the idea of medical examiner. What is the difference in uh, medical examiner and coroner? It's a very simple. The head of the department, investigative department, either is a qualified forensic pathologist or not. That kind of a emphasis. As a result, uh, now about half of the population in the United States being served by a qualified medical uh, uh, examiners. That's one way to improve, and uh, they do have a, a code of ethics. But I think we need to have a more general forensic science. How about this uh, police? There's a police uh, detectives uh, collecting evidence. They also, do they have a, a clear ethic? Uh, Cold, I believe, but uh, I think those are, should be collected so that we will have a, uh, references. And uh, uh, of course, uh, recently, in 2009, the National Science Foundation U.S. Uh, came up the uh, ruling. Now on, um, anyone who involved in the uh, uh, criminal justice, that is uh, handling evidence and it must be certified and the uh, office must be accredited. That is also another guideline for uh, uh, improved uh, uh, quality. Um, so uh, we are making a great deal, but this is one of the first time mentioning this, uh, forensic ethic, and I'm going to be a president. I'm thinking of consulting some of the executive committee members. Maybe we should start a committee 
to work uh, in this uh, way. So there's not only one presentation, but we have uh, data for colleagues to be able to uh, say. Thank you for the uh, uh, listening. Is that right?